What's up, everybody? Steph does here. I'm recording this. Wow, <laughs> my allergies are still kind of messing with my voice. Upon further inspection of where I've gone with what if the dragons were swapped, it would just lead back to the main scenario. I mean, it's. You've got. Sure, you've got Raditz and Nappa now, and Vegeta's dead, but. What does that even change? You have Nappa and Raditz who are together, probably strong enough, about as strong as Vegeta. All it does really is give Frieza another person to kill. You know, so it's it, it, it's just one of those scenarios that even though it started in high school, and I, I, I'm very fond about this. You know, I I love that something I thought of in high school, threw away in the garbage, and then came back to and made such a compelling story so far that it's gone farther than I expected. So, <coughs> with that said, I'm going to be pulling this story. I'm going to be just letting it go out on a high note. Because in the end, at the end of the day, there's one extra Saiyan on Earth, and you know what? That that's enough. Um, Raditz and Nappa would probably add something as far as the uh, as far as how personal things get. You know, maybe Bulma gets with Raditz. I mean, I, I, that's just. Something to throw out there, but I, I don't want to go that direction. I don't want to go the direction where I'm I'm fitting Napa with maybe like Mai or or you know Raditz and Bulma. I I don't want to go that direction with this. And as far as the main fights, I mean, like I said, Napa and Raditz together are probably all the same. As far as Vegeta's power level, sure they'll get stronger over time. Sure they might unlock Super Saiyan, but it's going to follow so close to Dragon Ball's formula that I'm, I am I don't want to go that route. I want to give you guys something new. So it, it's going to, this is, this is going to be the last scene of, of part five, basically. Uh, I'm sorry that, you know, there, there's probably a handful of you that really like the scenario, really like the thought that Peronga is Earth Dragon and... You know, I, I like it too. Like I said, this was something that I didn't expect to go as far from just one of those memories in the back of my head that I ended up putting aside. Uh, <coughs> that I ended up putting aside and not doing anything with. And then I start the What If, uh, the Dragon Ball days on this channel, and it's grown into something that I never expected. So, that being said, it's it's got a lot of potential, but it doesn't have any potential on this channel. So, and and that's the that's the cruel reality of the situation. So, it's with a heavy heart that I have to cancel uh what if the dragons were swapped. I know this is something that you all really wanted to see, but I'm I'm set in this choice. So, thank you all so much for watching. There are other what-ifs on the channel. I'm not going anywhere, but this one, unfortunately, has come to a premature close. Thank you all. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.